Yes, the 14th Amendment is out. Oh, wait a minute. It means the president's no longer considering the 14th Amendment, which means they might have something on his plate that he will, oh, that he supports. But, you know, as the most, how should we say this, bipartisan president, you know, it's all those the fault of the Republicans and the Democrats. They came through with flying colors. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Republican budget deal again on arrival. Oh, oh, a Republican budget dead again on arrival and still no budget from the Democrats. Oh, yeah. And we're, our president, we have leapfrog Obama out today because he's leapfrogging over the truth that the Republicans are obstructionists, the Republicans are trying to destroy our nation. We need to have an uprising against the Republicans. His uprising against the Republicans cost him one out of every, or three out of every uh, ten people he had on um, on Twitter because they're fed up with him. <laughs> and he said, he, he he did that thing and he lost one percent more. His, his, pop, his popularity fell by one more percent. And he basically violated the rules of Twitter when he told everybody. He sent out Twitter things of people's Twitter accounts. They had, uh, they had a robot thing sending Twitter stuff out. So I'm guessing the President of the United States, you know, Leapfrog, I think you're getting ready to be removed from Twitter even though you're President of the United States for violating the company's rules. They, what, used, what a robo, they? they used a robo device to put the names with one Twitter after another with the Twitter account of every Republican uh, out there. No but I, don't, I mean, I don't think there's a law against that, is there? Yeah, there's a rule against it. You're not supposed to use robo-devices. Oh. And that was how that was done. They're saying, well, you know, we didn't understand. The President of the United States' his office, once again, didn't understand that it was a violation of their rules. You can do it if you're running a business account. But they're not. They're not running a business Unless they account. are running a business no, account. No, this was his personal Twitter account. Oh. And they violated the rules with robo. And it cost him, uh, people dumped him right and left. And they, and they said that all of the Republicans that he was attacking, they picked up six, they said that every 6,500 new members for every single Republican he attacked. Oh, really? Yeah. In fact, they said it was a, he lost a, another, he's now below 40% in the popularity rating. He's the lowest of any president trying to get re-election ever, and it cost him dearly in Twitter. So he just, he said that he's making one tactical error after another after another. Yesterday, Charles Sherwood condemned him on the floor of the Senate. Condemn the president, which means they're going to run somebody against Obama. It's a real cinch when Schumer says the President of the United States has been basically invisible in this process and it's, it, the Senate is going to come to his rescue. That's an attack, meaning they have no intention of supporting this president. If, if, that's why uh, Hillary, the people are making plans again, because it looks like they're going to get, they're going to go follow the president that they wanted to have, not the one they ended up with. And lawmaker probing a Treasury medal in S&P rating. Yeah, because Geithner and those people have been sitting down with one another talking. And they think that Geithner basically, they, there is a suspicion that they deliberately are going to ruin our credit rating so that Obama can have a campaign issue. The people don't care about the credit rating. Here's a good one. They don't care about the debt crisis. You know what they care about? They want the budget cut. They want the people to stop spending money. And they can't, they said they, uh, I mean, even the Democratic pollsters are saying the thing, that this, this Congress is so out of touch with the people of this nation, that it, well, okay, it used to be that everybody else's elected official but ours was wrong. Now, 60 or almost 70% of the people say our elected official needs to get his ass booted out. Ooh. And they're looking for that third party now to run candidates. The, Obama has succeeded in basically creating a third party. Well, even though they're sitting there trying to kick out the uh, Tea Party? Yeah. But they won't do it any good because the, the, the Tea Party people are basically, the Tea Party people uh, did what they were elected to do, which was basically to, uh, to stop the spending of money. And unfortunately, Bonnier, didn't, Bonnier doesn't agree with them, John McCain. Republican establishment won't go along with cutting any money. I mean, like the Bonnier bill, and I heard that last night again, it trims $1 billion out of the budget. Five hours worth of government spending 
was trimmed by Bonyard. Ooh. But he's going to appoint a commission. They said the one billion that he picked and the commission will be all that survives out of the House bill that was sent to the Senate. Why don't they just do 1% cut across the board? Isn't that really no, easy? No, because the Democrats uh, Democrats want to increase spending by 25%. They don't want to cut spending. Yeah, see, there's the problem. And if they want to increase spending, the money's got to come from somewhere. Well, got, they said you can tax the wealthy for everything they have, and it, can't, it, it cannot cover... Uh, Obama is spending $120, $130 billion a month more than we're bringing in. The wealthy don't have They don't have that, that much more. They don't have that much more. And Bachman refuses to answer questions about family. Uh, I know. She said if she's running and her husband's not. But her problem is it doesn't make any difference. Her husband is fair game. The children are not. The husband The is. spouses always are. That's right. Even though they've laid off of Michelle. They laid off of Michelle Obama until Michelle Obama started to be a hypocrite. It was basically, you know, you got to stop eating this. you got to stop doing that. Everything that she does and that she basically enjoys doing is wrong for anybody else but her. Well, and part of it is if she's out of the media, they leave her alone. Yeah. It's, if you're in the media and yeah. trying to promote things... But don't go out and tell a newspaper reporter, you're going to have to stop eating pizza, as an example. <laughs> you, you're going to have to stop eating french fries and hamburgers and milkshakes and soft drinks, as an example. Well, that didn't fly in any press room in the country. We've been a lot of them. Well, sometimes they forget. People don't have the time to sit down and eat dinner. Press people live on anything that they can get, and generally it is not. Okay, you know what the press refers to as healthy food? You know, you, know, you don't want to go in there and have rabbit food. Yeah, this is what they'll tell you as you go in to get lunch. They're having rabbit food. <laughs> Why do you think the press will die? They'll cut one another's throat to go to a set-down, multi-course dinner. Because that's, they, they, they live on their stomachs, and Michelle Obama thinks that this is evil for anybody. No, responsible people should be allowed to do what they want. Press, though, has to set an example. Oh, yeah. Which means they're not responsible. Mm, House approves debt bill and Senate rejects it. Oh, yeah, because everybody knew they would. I mean, I don't understand. Bonyard, all he had to do, get the bill, send it over, and just keep sending the same bill over. Because they're never going to accept it. So since, you know, okay, the way it works is, I heard one of the people from the, the Democrats said, the uh, Rep Democrats form a circle to shoot one another. Republicans never accept victory. They won the battle and refused to accept the victory. Well, we've got to go back and do this. No, they already did it. Once you've done it, you don't have to do it again. You let the Democrats then make their move. They, they won this battle a week ago, and then spent five days, and at the last moment, did exactly the same thing they did a week earlier. Gang of Six provides hope for debt talks. No. Uh, their, their, their Gang of Six basically doesn't do anything. It basically, I love this. Uh, what's our growth for this year? It's one point. 2% growth. Mm -hmm. their, their projections project 8% growth from now until hell freeze is over. <laughs> uh, 1.2, one, 1. 8%. We've not got to 8% in good times, and they're projecting 8% growth and a lot of new taxes. And U.S. Review finds Iraq deadline now, uh, deadlier now than a year ago. You know, they knew we were pulling out. Now that we're pulling out, their war is going to start. The Middle East is going to be one massive battleground, and Barack Hussein Obama will be the one. It's not going to be George Bush. When George Bush was there, we had peace in the Middle East. Aww. Now that Barack Obama is there, the Democrats are going to pull the troops out and cut back in the military. And we're, all, we're going to have a war, folks. This is going to be a, a shooting nuclear war, folks. And Indonesian fishermen find body of American surfer. I know. Why do you want to go to Indonesia? surf god. I mean, I can see going to Australia. Maybe they surf. had good waves. I know they have good waves, but they also have crappy ground. You don't, you don't surf where the rocks are. You can surf piers, but you really have to be good to surf piers. But you'd never surf an area where there's rocks underneath the water. Because well, you tend to go down. They probably you, didn't realize that. Yeah, they know it's there because it's why you don't surf there. Oh. The big waves always tend to be in spots that anybody in their right mind doesn't surf. And um, Perry stresses personal opposition to gay marriage. Well, he should have a right. First of all, the trick is the people are not approving gay marriage. Let democratically controlled legislatures are controlling gay marriage. So is it a problem? Every time the gay marriage is put on the ballot, it loses. 
-hmm. When the courts overturn gay marriage in California, they'll simply go back to the voter system and the voter system, they pissed off the Latinos, they pissed off the Afro-Americans by telling them, you don't, you're not, your votes don't count when it comes to gay marriage. Only, only people, white Democrats count. And is it too early to write off M Rupert Murdoch as a CEO? Well, no, not since he decided to bail on the Republicans and the right and go back to Obama. He's condemning the Republicans right and left. Only the Democrats can save our business community. Mm -hmm. You think that has anything to do with the FBI investigation? They were getting their Obama ordered on them. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, this is what only those people that are not old know the real real meaning of being old. Well, at least that's what the polls and the, that's what the surveys all tell you. That old people have no clue what it's like being old. But at 15, uh, you know, a, a 25 year old that's doing a research project, he understands being old. Yeah, right. A person that's my age has no comprehension of what it's like to be old. <laughs>